I think we, we got a hell of a ball club here. Chap, are you intimidated at all today? I wouldn't say I'm in intimidated, really. So, Jeremy Giambi, how's the team going to fare without your brother Jason Giambi? But, you know, as far as filling that role, the organization did a great job of bringing in some good young guys to fill that role. Well, let's face it. I mean, they're, they're getting a deal with you. The Yankees are paying Jason a whole lot of money, and you are coming here on a dime. How does that make you feel? I feel good. Um... How are the nerves in your fingers? You know. I got to start with the age. 36 years old. How do you think your body's going to hold up this season? You spend a lot of time at strip clubs. You spend a lot of time partying. Do you resent all of the uh, attention that you get off the field? I don't. I love it. You spend a lot of time in Las Vegas. I do. I feel great. Like I said, I did a lot of work to get ready Excuse for me. this. Excuse me. Can you please get out of my shot? Sorry. Go ahead. Uh, I know there have been some questions about my age and my uh, declining skills, some say, but I'm here to prove that wrong. I asked you if you were 100%. Uh-oh. Mom! Mom, I think I know how to find drug you Enough need. is enough. Bike in the back. Off. No more looking for that frog. The FBI and the police will settle it. We're going to go home and finish packing. Understood? Yes. Understood? Yes. Haley, if you want to come over later and say goodbye to the boys, you can, all right? In the truck. You are not going to lose me the house I grew up in. I'm putting it up for rent and we're going to move in with Aunt Carol. I just brought the boys in to say goodbye. Look, baby. Boys, say goodbye to your father. I want dad to come. I'll get another job, okay, Rox? A better one. I mean, you know what the big city will do to these boys. I don't think it can be any worse than what you're doing to them right here. Rox! I love you. We love you too. That's what makes this all so sad. do for your organization well I thought that since we're both Latinos and this is an issue oh, actually I'm not Latina I'm Italian but <laughs> I get that all the time <laughs> <laughs> you think you're Italian I don't think I'm Italian I am Italian Siciliana we visit Sicily every year we go to this little church where my mother prays to her patron saint for helping to conceive me so this Italian woman <laughs> She gave birth to you? Yes. That's why I call her mom. <laughs> Excuse me. Did you just hear that gate change announcement? No, no, I'm, I'm sorry. Um, you know, perhaps I can help you at the ticket counter. Oh, good idea. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Where are you headed? Mexico. Oh. How about you? Oh, well, I'm just going to finish up my sherry, and then I'm off to... I'm going to Mexico. <laughs> really? Acapulco? This is uncanny. <laughs> what hotel are you staying at? Via Vera. Well, that's where I'm staying. You're scaring me. Well, I should warn you. If we hit turbulence, I may hold on to you for dear life. Well, then I should warn you. I'm hoping for a bumpy ride. <laughs> so, why are you going to Acapulco? Actually, it's rather uh, an, an amusing story. <laughs> See, I, I came down to the airport on sort of a, a blind date uh, with a, a cello player. Well, of course, she didn't know it was a blind date. <laughs> Actually, it was all in my head, but... Uh, so when I bumped into you, and you said you were going to Acapulco, I, I thought, why not tag along? So the only reason you're on this plane is because of me. Call it kismet? Can I switch seats? Oh, sure. <laughs> You're lucky. Normally this fight is damned. See, Kismet. Listen, it was nice meeting y'all. You too. Hey, uh, hey. You're dropping your left. That was always Liston's problem. <laughs> is that right, huh? Oh, my, my. What a 
a specimen. Boys, why don't you go hose your mother off, huh? Yeah, that man could have my girl's germs any time. Oh, 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 you little monkey. Oh. Yeah. <laughs>